Hey everybody, it's Miss Julie, and today I'm going to show you how to do a spring rock painting design. So I have two different designs. One of them is this easy one, it's a little ladybug. And then the second one is a little more advanced and it's a monarch butterfly wing. So you're going to need a few supplies to do these ones. Um, I use acrylic paint. You're going to use black, white, yellow, and red. Or if you have some orange, you can use that as well. Um, but of course, we just mix our red and yellow to make our orange. Um, you'll also need some paint brushes. I do suggest a very thin, small brush if you're going to do um, the monarch butterfly wing. You can make sure to have paper towels on hand and a cup of water in case you're going to rinse out your brushes. There is a supply list in the comments and we're going to go ahead and get started. So you're going to start with your first rock. I went ahead and painted my rock with a solid white background. You don't have to do this, um, but it sure does make your colors pop and make it a lot easier to see your pencil. And now I'm using my pencil to draw my shape. So I'm drawing the head and then a straight line down his back. Kind of curved at the top and then a straight line. Now we're gonna start painting. We're gonna use our red and we're gonna start painting on the wings. Um, just follow your pencil line and we'll do one side and then the other. Don't forget when you start the other side, make sure to leave a white line straight down the middle because that is where our black is going to go to separate the two wings. So you can paint the other side, but leave one white line down the middle so we can paint it black later. All right, now it's time to use our black paint. So you're going to take some black and then you're going to start painting the head. And don't worry if you made mistakes with the red. The good thing about black is that it covers it all up. So you're just going to finish painting around the head and then we'll take it straight down the back to separate the two red wings. And now it's time to add our dots. Before you start, make sure your red wings are nice and dry so we don't smear any paint. And then we're gonna take our black and start making little circles all around the wings. We're gonna start on the right side and then we'll move over to the left. And finally, we're gonna add a little face. So we're gonna take our white paint, make a little circles for our eyes, and then a nice big smile. I added some black to my ladybug eyes, and then we're all done with our simple ladybug garden rock. Next, we'll be working on our more advanced design. And now we're gonna start with our monarch butterfly wing. Now, I usually have to look at a picture or an object in order to get the shapes right. So I went ahead and I searched monarch butterflies and I um, tried to copy the shape of the wing. I started with the body and then kind of the rounded tip of the top part of the wing and then down to the bottom wing. Next, I drew the inside orange part of the wings, and this is what it looks like. Imagine stained glass windows. Now we're gonna start painting. You're gonna need a light orange and a dark orange and the thinnest brush you have. You're gonna start with a light orange and then just carefully paint inside the thin lines that we drew inside of the butterfly wing. And now we're gonna use the dark orange paint to create this ombre effect and make it darker towards the body of the butterfly and then blend evenly into the lighter orange. And it creates this beautiful depth on the butterfly wing going from dark to light on the orange part of the wings. Next, we're gonna use our black to fill in the empty spaces. Make sure to use a thin brush and don't worry about making mistakes. You can always go back and fill in with orange or black later. 
and then just follow the pencil lines that we used in the beginning as your guide for the shape of the wing. You'll finish up the black by filling in the body and adding a little antenna. And then we're going to use our white and we're going to add all the little dots that go along the edge of the butterfly wing. It's my favorite part. And here we go, our finished monarch butterfly wing. If your rocks are going outside, make sure to use a clear acrylic top coat so that your paint doesn't chip. If not, you can enjoy them indoors with a house plant. Thank you guys so much for watching and we hope you enjoyed our spring rock painting tutorial. See you guys later.